Hi, uh, verse and devotion for today are out of Matthew chapter 27, verses 57 through 66, with the key verse. <laughs> I know I'm laughing, I'm sorry. I just, as I sit here and think about what I've read, it just, some things just tickle me. Sometimes I cry, but this today just kind of cracked me up. The key verse um, is verse 63. And the reason why I'm laughing, I mean, it's not funny, but it's just kind of the irony of it cracks me up. Verse 63 says, uh, Sir, they said, we remember that while he was still alive, that deceiver said, after three days, I will rise again. Well, I haven't read any more. I just read that part. But it's funny because, okay, Jesus is, is technically dead, and the people that were scheming to get him dead are still freaking out. They're still afraid of him. <laughs> I just think it's funny. Even though I know it's not funny, it's just so funny because they're still afraid of him. Which they have good reason to be because he's, he's the son of God. And lo and behold, he is going to raise back from the dead. But... <laughs> The fact that they're freaking out is just hysterically funny to me because they think they've won. They're still a little nervous, but they have no idea and it's that it is going to happen and he is going to raise from the dead. So let me read this and finish it up. <clears throat> so verse 57 of chapter 27 in Matthew. As evening approached... There came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph. So you've heard, uh, talked about, you know, Joseph of Arimathea. This is who this is. Who had himself become a disciple of Jesus. So this guy's following Christ or had been following Christ. Okay. Going to Pilate, he asked for Jesus's body. And Pilate ordered that it be given to him. Joseph took the body, wrapped it in a clean linen cloth, and placed it in his own new tomb that he had cut out of the rock. So it was a brand new tomb, and it was actually belonged to Joseph of Arimathea. He rolled a big stone in front of the entrance to the tomb and went away. Simple as that. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were sitting there opposite the tomb. <clears throat> Excuse me. Verse 62. The next day... The one after preparation day, the chief priests and the Pharisees went to Pilate. Sir, they said, we remember that while he was still alive, that deceiver said, after three days, I will rise again. So they're still really nervous, and they should be. So give the order for the tomb to be made secure until the third day. So they're still scheming, still plotting. Otherwise, his disciples may come and steal the body and tell the people that he has been raised from the dead. They just won't quit, will they? We we're, we hear a lot of that stuff nowadays, too, in our own society still. <clears throat> Not much has changed, has it? Makes you think of why the Bible is so relevant. It's still relevant today, till today because... Not much has changed. People are still people and they still pull the same shenanigans they always have. Okay. Otherwise, his disciples may come and steal the body and tell the people that he has been raised from the dead. This last deception will be worse than the first. Take a guard, Pilate answered. Go make the tomb as secure as you know how. So they went and made the tomb secure by putting a seal on the stone and posting the guard. So that's what they did. They guarded it around the clock up until the third day. And boy, oh boy, <laughs> surprise, surprise is coming. So let's just pray. And, you know, the thing is, is like I said, the, the shenanigans never stopped. And you have to constantly pray. You're constantly on watch. You're constantly being deceived. Even when good, good things are happening, the enemy is still at work. And he doesn't stop. 
So keep praying, keep trusting in the Lord, and he will take care of it. But you have to trust in the Lord. And knowing that Jesus was getting ready to rise again, even though, you know, the earth shook, uh, people rose from the dead, all these things happened, man, they have no clue how cool it's going to get in the next couple of days. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Tomorrow is coming. There's always a bright day ahead. And even though three days prior to this, it was bad, really bad and really sad. Hmm. Here comes Jesus, raising from the dead. Oh, so cool. Lord, thank you. Thank you so much. The fact that you have the power to do that and that it's in us, God. We have a job to do. We've got to work for you. we got to make disciples and teach people. Help us, Lord, to do this. Help us to have that passion burn inside of us. Help us to teach our kids and our grandkids and be so real with them, God. Let them know that you are real, that you are so real and so relevant even for today. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.